everybody, Tim here from the Tactical Defender, and yes, I have the Maxpedition Vulture 2. I've literally had this bag for five years now, hard use for five years. If you're thinking about getting one of these bags, I have something to tell you. Watch this video. Well, here we are, give or take five years later after hard use. This is actually my second Maxpedition Vulture 2. This is their three-day backpack. For me, it's a little small. It's more as a day pack, a day hike, whether it be one hour or the entire day in the woods, up in the mountains. It is a little small, which is actually why I'm kind of retiring it. And I've, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I have some larger packs or a larger pack, and that will now be my daily backpack uh, for hiking. If you're thinking of getting one of these, I highly recommend them. I've used this at a wedding, brought it to a wedding because we went away for the weekend. I've used this on camping trips, daily hiking trips. I even for a short while use it as an EDC bag, but it's kind of big, so you may not like it for that. I have used this as my hiking pack. I've loaded it really heavy for years and it never, ever, ever let me down. I've even used this, uh, well, when I get married, I had stuff in here and brought it to the wedding with me. So I have a, a lot of history with this particular bag. I had a green one before this for almost two years, I think because I didn't like the color. I ended up selling that to get the money to buy the exact same bag, which is why I liked it so much. I got the same exact bag, but just in the color that I like. I'm now at the point where I have a lot of gear, cameras, tripods. I bring a lot of stuff with me when I even go on a hike or off into the woods, wherever, even over here to the gun range to shoot videos or do whatever I'm doing. And this is getting to the point where it's not big enough. Strong enough, just not big enough. It has, I've never had a buckle break, a zipper come undone. I've never had uh, Velcro get weak. It doesn't get loose on me when I'm hiking and it's on my person. It is seriously a great pack. If you're getting one of these, if you're thinking of getting one of these, if you don't have a lot of gear or at least the amount of gear that I carry, get it. This is, we're looking at give or take five years. I've used it hard. I've gone mountain climbing, uh, you know, roughly 4,000, 5,000 footers. I've slid down rock faces on this and it has literally no wear at all. No threads coming undone. There's a little discoloration on the grab handle because it's dirty and I just don't want to wash it. I actually like my stuff looking worn. This hardly looks worn. I did have this about a week ago. Somebody saw it. They've never seen me with it before. They're really not into what I'm into. And they asked me if I picked up a brand new, oh, you got a new backpack. No, this, this thing's been everywhere with me. So I will tell you, if you're thinking of getting one of these, get it. It's well worth the money. They're more expensive certainly now than when I bought it, but well worth the money. They're a really good pack. It's just a little small for me, which is why I'm kind of moving up into bigger packs. Other than that, there is nothing wrong with this. So, five years later, Maxpedition Vulture 2, still kicking, working good. Almost looks brand spanking new. There's no wear, no buckles, no nothing's coming undone. Zippers are all intact, and I'm not easy on my equipment. That's a lot of truth. So anyway, I don't mean to ramble on everybody. I just wanted to make an update five years later. This bag is amazing, still working really well. It is my second only because I like this color and not the green one that I had before. Thank you for watching everybody. Be well, stay safe. Good pack, good pack.